Hello, in this video we're going to take this image, we'll go to remove all of these elements, extended some scenery, and we're going to um, create this image. So we'll go, after removing, we'll extend some scenery, like right there, expanding a little bit more, and add additional elements, and going to, with using some overlay, masking overlay items, we'll go to create this image adding some textures on the material and some other retouching. Let's go ahead and start working on this image. Okay, let's go ahead and start it inside the, our camera raw. We go ahead and open this image. Um, okay, the image, what I want to do is take our highlights, bring them down. It's a little bit flat in her face. Uh, pop up sharpness. Let's restore a little bit on the skin tone, add a bit more yellow and uh, orange. So we'll restore a little bit from the flatness. And when we're ready, we'll go open. And I am working in Adobe RGB space, the same way I'm photo shooting. And it was 16 bit actual depth color I'm working with. Notice if you look on the photo shoot, we have one from back. So it was about two lights set up in this case. Okay, let's go ahead, click open, and we should have it in a, open in our Photoshop. So I'm going to just work directly on this layer because I know I'm going to modify some stuff. And uh, okay, right here, let's go to zoom out, reposition. We'll go select patch tool, and I'm just going very fast, just select one, drag around there, we'll select different so I'm working a little bit on uh, removing some of those lines of course we will overlay with colors but we still want to be sure they look kind of okay uh, let's go right here okay, and we can see this is continued to this element so we'll just go select closer okay, and we'll fix this one uh, right here this element just around we'll have it a little bit darker we'll use it um cover some of those elements we'll use okay right there maybe there you go okay uh dodge and burn techniques later but again for now it's this will work okay we have a right here element so let's go just a drag and adjusting there you go we have it small by right that fix this one a little bit on the edge just smooth out some of this okay okay I think this is almost about right let me go ahead and select framing and I just want to bring a little bit up to chin here I think this is about why I want composition. Um, we'll just go delete bottom. We don't need it. Let's work now on the retouching on the model. We'll go create new layer. So let's go call retouching. We'll select healing brush. And as analysis, we'll go a little bit on the face. I think mostly it's very clean. We'll still want to just touch up a couple places here. We'll have it one bigger problem down, but Okay, I think this is just to smooth out. Remember, we will apply some smoothness in the skin. Okay, right there. Okay, overall okay. Right here, we have a little bit problem. Uh, with this, we'll just go and start first smoothing out. Kind of like a similar color. So I just want to smooth out a little bit here. We'll maybe take a little bit of color and we'll fix this with a different coloring in a second. So right now I just want a very smooth transition on the line. We'll just also remove a little bit here transition. Let's go fix right there. Just slightly. And we'll smooth out this later. Okay. 
um, zipper. Let's go work on this one as well. Just go select right there edges. And you notice I'm extending. Don't worry too much about this. We'll go apply some smoothness to this, but it will help us with this line a little bit. We need just kind of blending this line. Okay, we'll go right there. Okay. Okay, so right here we kind of remove that line. We still have it a little bit, but it's okay. We'll smooth it. Um, this is a little bit different with the skin when we have it in Miss Bra. So we'll work just on a clone step tool. Select image. Probably let's go with about 30% uh, right now. And you just click and going down. So it's what we're doing. Same coloring. We'll select this one. And you can still click release for the same color if you need it. And we'll use it dodge and burn later. So right now I'm just uh, trying to let's go right here. Kind of add same coloring to the skin right here. Okay, let's go set 60% now. Select again right there and we'll just uh, kind of almost like going down one line next and we we'll just go like right there a little bit okay let's restore the skin here okay select a little bit my hair let's fix it with a hair limit and okay ten percent just to smooth a little bit our skin okay and we'll smooth out a little bit more overall right now what I needed I'm just working on a coloring here so we'll have it somewhat similar color there you go a little bit rough but we're going to smooth skin out overall here so when we dodge and burn we'll cover more Right now, we're just creating um, overall coloring in this area. Okay, I think that is all on touch up. Let's go Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E, create new layer. We'll call it smoothing and a smooth. We'll go to noise, dust, and scratches. On dust and scratches, we are looking for about to see how smooth right there. I think 20 about right. Click OK and hold down Alt or option key and click on a mask we're creating black mask now we'll have a 10 percent opacity on a white brush so we can brush in and you can see like right there we start brushing in and it's much smoothing so that's what we're going to do we're actually going to smooth a lot of stuff on the skin okay but before we continue here let's do on the faces and because i'm going after look like it's digital painting or actually oil painting it's what we're going we need to remove some details on the skin because it's look very realistic skin with a pore so we want as a drying like somebody took it oil and i'm just moving adding all what it does it's reduce details we can see it it's all what it does it does that smoothing it just kind of blending okay uh, let's go right here increase a little bit size go over arms if you go a little bit over edge don't worry because we are going to use the overlays to replace that background so we're okay on that one a little bit on the hands let's go right here as well okay a little bit more right there we'll add dodge and burn to this area to fix a little bit better Overall, what we care about coloring, so the color need to be the same. Okay, when we're done with this, let's go on the dress. Same things. We'll go maybe with 20% on the dress, and you can see how we start hiding, removing those details. 
the dress become a little bit and I want to stay inside the dress it will remove some of those wrinkles creating more as a brush stroke smoothness almost so we'll do be careful we want just to be sure it's in right places let's look zoom out and we can see right here maybe more smoothing on her leg kind of like almost create a brush okay we can see it right here smoothing let's go next we'll go create control shift alt e command option alt e um, it's for the hair and we'll go to filter stylize oil painting and an oil painting will go set 10 10 uh, let's see what our scale will work yeah let's go scale lower per maybe about to 0 0.1 and a bristle we don't care we'll put it down um, you can go without lighting lighting will give it a little bit more lines what I like it we will click OK on this and we also go to filter sharpen and I want to apply unsharpened mask on our hair it's even emphasized a little bit more of those strikes we go ahead click OK again alt or option mask creating another mask let's go zoom in and we'll use it uh, 10 percent opacity on our white brush going to, let's go to um, paint in the hair so right here remember we have a problem with the hair we'll just paint in and it's actually will blend to very good almost like extension of the hair so it's what We'll fix some of those problems. Here, right here. Let's go over here on the top. Reduce. Let's touch just slightly eyebrows to add that cleanness to them. Okay, we'll go right there. Okay, I think that is a little bit clean up for us. Okay, we'll leave it like this now let's go ahead create new layer we'll fill with 50 percent gray normal color this is will be our dodge and burn and we'll switch this to soft light blending mode now we can use the two brushes black and white to create a little bit more shadows or other elements so let's go ahead and closer and right here my brush and i'm working with a soft round brush I'm on a very soft level because I am using um, mouse, so I don't use it by pad on this. It's for a different reason. If you're interested, I am doing a lot of 3D and in 3D by pad, sometimes not easiest way to use it. And that's the reason why sometimes I found for me it's easier just to do everything with mouse. I just need to make more strokes than with by pad. Okay, but it's whatever work for you. Right here we create it. Let's go switch to the white and we'll go to add a little bit more highlights now. Okay, and I'm using um, bracket key to increase or decrease count. Okay, and you can see we just kind of with the lights on your face before and after we reduce some of this flatness okay switch back to the black and remember right here we had a little bit flatness so we'll fix that one okay let's go zoom out let's go on her hand switch to white make one strikes going kind of almost like you know um, follow the lights so it's all creating okay right there let's go same with this arm a little bit right there strike of the lights and it's with doing this way light it's creating almost look like um, give it a little bit more dimensions to our skin so it's all what we're doing just add those highlights and shadowing okay now let's go work a little bit on the dress we'll add right there a little bit 
on the waist and on a dress. Okay. Let's go maybe even a little bit darker with a dress. Just add a little bit more to this. Okay, switch to the white. Just add a little bit lights on the fallouts. So that's we'll create. Think about this as brush and you're just creating those highlights, which is actually nice. It's what we're doing. Okay. Let's go right here, look before and after. So you just add a little bit more dimension and depth to this image. Um, let's go create also black and white now. And we'll do black and white for a couple of reasons. One, um, I want to preserve I want to create a map for our next when we get an overlay of the um, for the image for the distortion. So it's what displacement we're going to use on some cases. So we'll do that. But right now I'm just uh, working on your face and expression. Let's bring a little bit darker like this. Yeah, I think that one is better. And we'll just switch opacity. around there just create a little bit extra depth in our image okay mm, let me look right here we still kind of look a little bit funny but i think we yeah we'll just go right there lines that will should work just fine i think from there we could actually take and expand let me just try to see if it will work um so we'll take image copying so we'll have that one extend like maybe around there putting yeah we can probably just expand like right there okay and let's go create mask for this take a brush black 10 percent and we'll just smooth a little bit those edges, blend in. Okay. Zoom in 20%, so we'll go a little bit faster. We just want to blend in a little bit right here. So it's almost right there. There you go. Just extend a little bit, make better, I think. Okay, so we um, prepared. Let's go right now, add um, our elements. And what I'm going to do is I'm going from Envanto elements. Um, I'm, I'm not affiliated with them, but I'm just using and sometimes much faster. So you go there, you find right image and you can use it. In this case, I'm just going to use this one from Envanto Element. I'm going to increase kind of like these both sizes here. Okay. And one thing right here, I see the color. I don't like this color displacement kind of going weird. So let's fix that one. We'll attach to this and we'll just take it and let's go just kind of remove this one a little bit. And we'll just make a glowing after out of this. Okay, we can do it that way. We can also easy way probably to do with a stamp tool. doing wrong one on stamp tool okay well open current and below okay let's go check more that may be like 40 percent so we have a little bit less what 
put on it real I'm worried about that a little bit right here as well I just want kind of coloring was popping up too much okay so we'll match those ones I think these is look good um, before the next step let's group it so it's our back um, what I want to do it is let's put it like right there and we'll go switch opacity and what I'm doing I'm just looking on opacity on a backdrop when I think it's look good and um, I think maybe about 20% yeah see we still see backdrop lines and it's kind of things I think that is work nice um, now let's create mask and what are we going to do put it to the hundred percent back but on our brush we'll select uh, let's go cancel let's go to fill this um, with a black color we'll select gray level and luminosity right here in luminosity window we'll just put it 20 same what we have it before on that level transparency it will match um, for our brush and we'll set 100% opacity so now whatever I'm doing I'm just will do with that exactly transparency that I was selecting before okay we'll just come closer look at it right there okay now let's go get closer 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 here reduce our brush and we'll just go and clear a bit it's okay if you step a little bit over it's fine because then skin become kind of like blending almost in which is what we're going after this will work very good in this case almost like a light overflow and we can oops okay let's go back to this one there and let's go around her hair a little bit more around the arms okay I'll to touch this edge and right here we'll just go like right there probably around doesn't matter in this case Okay, now we can fix the also easiest way. We can click on a mask and in a preview on a mask, you can see where we still have it. Those elements, so we can go and take care of them. Yeah, I think this is about all we have it small things but they will be just fine so right here we have our background set we'll add some dodge and burn to those elements so we're good right there um, I think we need to work a little bit on backdrop because it well on a drop she's sitting I want to add some pattern to this and uh, we can do this pattern by taking some elements from um, image for example how I said before I was in one two elements where um, I do recommend you if because I'm not affiliated it's up to you but I'm like on a subscription with them which has allowed me to use unlimited resources and we're going to use this pattern for example just one of them like this one we'll just take it and we'll go use it this pattern in our image to create something over this material for that okay and so right here for example I create one pattern just take and duplicate it what I want from this pattern if you look it is to cover up to um, maximum areas so this is will be our overlay and when I say overlay we can just go ahead and switch this to overlay and uh, overlay mode we can see nice beautiful images however they will just flood they don't match so we need it to do something to match that okay for this one let's go create 
uh, black and white. Actually, I don't want this one. I don't want color balance. I will just create a black and white. And we'll just go create image, copy, um, create a new image for this. It will be our displacement map for that. Okay. Control all control C, control command new clipboard 300. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, one thing it's 16 bit, but if we do displacement, it won't work for 16 bit. So we'll need to go to image mode, switch to the 8 bit for the displacement. And the next we'll just need to go file, save, and we'll need to save just as PSD file. Okay, what are we going to do? Call displacement md and we want to be sure it's save as psd format let's go ahead click save okay now we can go back we don't really need this image anymore and the same black and white we don't we already have it so we can delete those layers but we want to go over our copy before and you know what let's go to normal so you'll see different and we'll copy duplicate it so we can compare what's going on Next, we'll go to filter, distort, we'll go to displace. And this is horizontal and vertical scale. It's a depend on your image. I found with my resolution, what I'm using at 8,000 pixels about uh, 75 work better. But if you have it smaller, you'll need reduced. For example, for about 6,000, you need to go um, about 50 and so on about 25 pixels per so about uh, one pixel per thousand pixels let's put this way uh, so right here we have a 75 by 75 we'll click OK and it's ask what logic will log displacement so we'll go load it and you can see how it will change uh, it's take time you see how the disturbance between before and after and this is try to match that parent why getting um, one displacement another is it will actually work very well when we switch to overlay mode and right here you can see where disturbing happen like let's go closer you see how right here we go it's changing bending them so this is all right there bending happen just precisely with close cloth happening so it's what I'm going to do um, we don't need that one we can delete it on this other copy overlay Let's go create a new element that we hide. And now we'll go in with a black and white, white 10%. We'll start with the white and we'll start first, not everywhere. We start first putting in on highlights. And reason is highlights should have a brighter color. So by doing this on the highlights and after we'll do everywhere, we emphasize the brightness in a brighter area. So right here we can go in some of those highlights areas okay and just add like on this of course we have a problem right there where we have it closer and we have it out of focus and now texture get in focus so we want to add a little bit um, blurring to that and we'll do this with a, another tool so we'll do a little bit later okay right here we have it add there let's go add a little bit more here it's darker we don't care we care on the highlights okay, and when we kind of done with highlights areas let's zoom out increase and now we can add everywhere slightly but because we increasing if you look on our map we have it highlights and now we're adding everywhere we increasing overall slightly so it will be brighter in those areas but pictures will come up in every area and of course i want just like right down it where we can see the best so we'll put it more there and a little bit less in other areas it's just overall i think it's add interesting effect of course you can switch to this different mode when you want it like overlay right now soft light 
just see which one is work better for you. But I think overlay kind of blendingly a bit more interesting in this case. OK, we added its a little bit sharpness. How I said before, we could actually go to this and uh, let's go to convert to smart object. OK, and now we can go filter, blur, tilt and shift. OK, and a tilt to shift, we can just move this like right there. You remember where the blurring was applied and move this higher. And if you look, it's just in the picture will be blurring coming from that angle. And I did it um, on a smart object because in case if we want to change, we can easily go in and change um, without affecting if we did directly on the layer it will be kind of permanently. So you can see we have a nice blur applied to our texture here and sharper with other image sharper. So it's matching um, kind of focus in this case. Okay, so we'll done those steps. Next, let's go to um, add another global Dutch and burn for this case. And I'm just going to fill up with 50% gray Global Dutch and burn on this. Okay, we'll go take our brush and let's switch to soft light. Switch to the black color. Okay, 10%. And we'll just add a little bit more framing around here. So, right here on the bottom, I don't want this to be visible, so we'll quite a bit. Darken, darken with her dress going and definitely darken this corner. We don't want to see kind of details in the corner. We want to keep it right here as our attention. So we'll just add a lot of darkness. Switch to the white color and just add a little bit more brightness. You can add overall like on the top a little bit better, kind of like coming from these directions down here. Okay, let's go X again, switch to the black, add a little bit more dark. We could rework this corner better, but again, for the time, and I want to keep it this, um, like in uh, 40, 30 minutes, I want to keep it very short. We already run over 30 minutes. Someone kind of for the fast work, but it is look okay. I think it is. Yeah, it's look fine. Okay, so. Okay, so when we're done with this, let's go to create a new layer control Alt Option E, Command Option Alt E or Control Shift Alt E. Uh, we'll create new layer. This is will be our color applying it. I'm going to just do for fast use using filter forge and in the filter forge we'll just creating um, preset and you know what I think this is let's go see which one preset we want to do. So we have a green, blue, total blue different presets but we want to do I'll just have it start with the one preset and all presets it is it's the positioning which uh, red channel, blue channel, whatever you want it. Um, filter Forge, you can download it for free trial version. Uh, you can purchase, but you know what? If you create your own filters, you can earn points and you can actually have it lifetime free. It's what I have it with the Filter Forge. So you can do either way you want it. So I think this one look good. Uh, let's go ahead and click apply. Okay, it's quite a bit darker what I like it and um, we can apply opacity but I think the overall filter what is filter it does it's creating with our luminosity and color curve so we can actually do with two of them by twinking around uh, but it's make a little bit easier and faster for me to do also let's go do create selective colors this is another our layer that we're going to modify I will take and bring slightly darker off blue a little bit greenish and we can bring cyan or red I think cyan will work so we'll cooler on our um, darker colors and on our neutrals we'll actually 
green. The other two warmer colors. So we'll play between this cold and warmer color. So that's what we set up with this. Um, actually, before this, you know what? I want to bring slightly more. So Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E, and um, Global Details. We'll do another layer image adjustment, black and white. I think I want to bring a little bit more on here face up. So we'll do this one. Image adjustment, shadow highlights. Um, be sure you and show more options because then we can create 10% radius, uh, 10 pixels radius. For this one, highlight same 10 pixels and we'll take tone on shadows, bring a little bit down here and bring brighter on your face. Okay. Uh, filter sharpen. Let's unsharp mask on this as well. I'll just give it better details on our edges. Okay, and next we'll switch this to soft light. So it should be giving us a little bit more punch out on the contrast and luminosity. And this is too high. I'll just bring it down and just control from here. Just want a little bit more dimensions and punch on this. And before selective colors applied. And of course, before selective colors, let's create a new layer and we fill up this layer with 50% gray color. We'll go to the filter um, noise and we'll go to add the noise about 50%. Switch to soft light. What it does, it is creating for us noise. And I know why we're adding noise. The reason is we smoothing some before and we have a different image. So without noise, you sometimes can see different noise here, no noise here. It's definitely, you'll see how different. Um, with the noise, it's help us to blend those together. So they look almost like similar. We can even reduce just slightly. So it's not too much, but it does apply this hiding some elements that we're retouching or smoothing and blend all of them together. Okay, I think this is about all what we want to do. Of course, next. Um, we want to go ahead and put it our title and for me it's a uh, photography and usually I just created putting somewhere you know on the bottom maybe on the middle right there and let's switch opacity lower the reason is I just want hair so people can see if they need it but i don't want like stand out and take all photos so take away from the portrait so i want to be sure it's just there but not in your face and right here we set this let's go ahead select all this group it we'll say it's a retouching and here it's what we had before well kind of before you remember we removed some lighting there touch up but overall already touching before and after and I think we keep at this in about under 40 minutes to do this retouching hopefully you find some new techniques here primarily with displacement of materials it's looking a bit more natural I think when you have it kind of messy materials also extending but here's our image if you like it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel it's helped me to kind of um, increase visibility and again, if you like this, join me on Patreon. A lot of tools, a lot of new videos and another assets is free available for Patreon supporters. And thank you very much and have fun day to create your own art.